subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to be in touch. Stormy Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, is a porn star who claimed in 2018 that she had an affair with Donald Trump before he became President of the United States and said that she met Trump in July 2006 at a celebrity golf tournament in Lake Tahoe, where he invites her to dinner in his hotel suite, where he shows her a copy of a golf magazine with his picture on the cover. Stormy Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, was born 44 years ago in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She was raised by her mother after her divorce, and recounts in one of her memoirs that she was neglected and sexually exploited at the age of nine by an older man, according to the British Guardian. A hardworking student despite everything, with a passion for horses, she transitioned into striptease work at a very young age and later landed roles in pornographic films. The blonde actress, director and screenwriter was already well known in porn circles, which awarded her a number of awards. Stormy Daniels is today the mother of a daughter. She married last year Barrett Blade, who is also a pornographic actor, and her fourth husband, but it was her relationship with Donald Trump that made her famous in the United States in the summer of 2006. Pornographic film actress Stormy Daniels met the American real estate mogul at a luxury resort in Nevada during a golf tournament on the bank of a lake surrounded by pine trees. The actress had just appeared in Judd Apatow's comedy, The 40 Years Old Virgin. Donald Trump had just had a child with his wife, Melania, and about that meeting, Daniels said that she caught Trump's attention and invited her to dinner in his suite, where he received her dressed in pajamas and sitting on his couch, where he showed her a copy of a golf magazine with his picture on the cover. I thought, someone should take that magazine and slap you with it, Daniels said in an interview with CBS, 60 Minutes, in 2018. So he turned around and pulled his pants down a bit, you know he was wearing underwear, she added about herself and if she would like to appear on his TV show, Celebrity Apprentice. She added that she apologized at some point during the meeting in his room to use the bathroom, and when she returned, Trump was, sitting, on the edge of the bed. I realized exactly what I had put myself through, Daniel said on, 60 minutes. And I was like, ah, here we go, and I felt like maybe. I was making a bad decision to go into someone's room by myself. Stormy Daniels confirmed that she and Trump had sex that night, which Trump denies, since the porn actress began a long course of litigation against him. Pornographic actress Stormy Daniels, whose name has become associated with Donald Trump, and at some point considered working in politics, waged a legal and media battle against the former Republican president, which led to the criminal indictment of the latter. The long course of litigation brought between Trump and Daniels, exposing the latter to many insults and insults from Trump supporters or sometimes he himself, and among the most famous expressions of insult to which she was subjected was the horse face that the Republican president likened to in 2018. However, it is noteworthy that the investigations later proved that Stormy Daniels received $130,000 before the 2016 presidential elections to remain silent. This money is at the heart of the issue that haunts the businessman, and a grand jury voted in favor of criminally indicting him Thursday, in what is unprecedented for a former U.S. president as soon as the deal was revealed in 2018, the actress began touring television shows and also demanded that the courts cancel the confidentiality agreement she had signed. Daniel's attorney, Clark Brewster, told TMZ in statements published March 21 that his client had received some threatening messages sent privately to her social media accounts, and as a result had increased her own security. On Thursday, Daniels replied, thank you, to a tweet from Brewster that said Trump's indictment was, no cause for joy. The hard work and conscience of a grand jury must be respected, Brewster tweeted. Now let truth and justice prevail. For his part, Trump issued a statement Thursday saying, this is political persecution and electoral interference on the highest level in history.